Oh, why, hello there. I am going to teach you guys how to play If I Were a Man from Bridgerton, the musical. Okay, the concept musical. Okay, it's not officially out there yet, but it is in the works. It's so exciting. Shout out to Laura Schneider for suggesting this musical down in the comments to me. Oh my goodness. I thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Laura? Lara? Schneider? I kid you not, shortly after I posted uh, that tutorial for Seventeen, I immediately like went to Netflix and watched this entire series. Oh my goodness, it's so good. <laughs> I needed a reference. I mean, I didn't know anything about Bridgerton. I was like, wait a minute, I think that that's on Netflix. Wow, they made a musical about it already? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. So enough chit chat. Enjoy my cover of this song, guys, and I'll see you when you get back. <laughs> I guess I have to be a lady, smiling and waving, constantly obeying. I guess I need a prince to come and save me, even if I don't need saving. I guess I must sit on a throne I don't own, raising the babies we made all alone. I guess as a lady there's just some things I'll never know. But if I were a man, I'd go to Japan, maybe swim in the sun, and learn to speak French. I'd have the whole world in the palm of my hand. I'd finally do what I could, but I can't, if I were a man. Eloise, I have to tell you something. What is it? Um, I've come to learn the woman who's with child. Well, Charlotte said that they knew already. It's a maid. Oh. Um, I didn't know they were allowed to get married. She's not married. She's not married. Well, I thought uh, a woman with child and she's not married. Well, I don't know. We need to find out so it doesn't happen to us. I guess I have to go to banquets. Banquets make me anxious, acting rather shameless. I guess I need a gown. Don't pass my ankles, doing up my errand angles. I guess I have to sit still and look pretty. Dance till I'm proper dizzy. If I were a man, don't need all the ladies and lords, just the world to explore. And I don't care if it's sullen, oh, no extravagant balls, no gentleman calls. And I don't give a rat if he's handsome and tall. I don't want to settle and squawk, we'll never leave unless we're a delicate walk. Oh, what if I, what if I want to fly? If I were a man, I'd go to Japan, maybe swim in the sun, and learn to speak French. I'd have the whole world in the palm of my hand. I'd finally do what I could, but I can't. If I were a man, if I were a man, I'd have the whole world in the palm of my hand. I'd finally do what I could, but I can't. If I were a man. Yeah, hey, guys, don't quote me on uh, some of those lyrics, okay? I'm, I know for a fact that some of those lyrics are not right, but what can I do? I mean, I tried to listen to the YouTube video that had the entire uh, song in it, and I just couldn't understand what she was saying. <laughs> So I did my best. And that goes for you guys too. Feel free to change the lyrics around and stuff because I mean, I'm not right. <laughs> you guys might be right. Grab your ukuleles and grab your tuners. Let's tune real quick. And I will see you guys uh, after that. <laughs> if you have tuned your ukulele, it should sound something like this. I'm pretty happy with that. That's pretty cool. I'm usually not happy about my tuning, so when I really like it, 
there are a total of 12 chords in the song, so let me show you guys really quick. First chord is A major 7. You're going to take your index finger and put it on the first fret of the G string, and your middle finger goes on the first fret of the C string. And this is how you play A major 7. Next chord is F sharp minor. Your index finger goes on the first fret of the C string, your middle finger goes on the second fret of the G string, and your ring finger goes on the second fret of the E string. And this is how you play F sharp minor. Next chord is B M7. I don't know if the M stands for major or minor, so yeah. <laughs> but you're going to take your index finger and you're going to lay it over all four of the strings and the on the second fret and you just push down like that easy peasy C sharp M7 it's the same thing you like you have your finger here you're just gonna go one two right here on the fourth fret it's the same thing next chord is F your middle finger goes on the second fret of the G string and your index finger goes on the first fret of the E string and this is how you play F Ugh. next chord is the dreaded E yeah we can't get away from these E's so uh, the way that I play the E is I put my index finger on the second fret of the A string I skip the third fret I go up to the fourth fret here and my um, middle finger lays across both the G and C string so that pushes down and my ring finger I put it on the fourth fret of the E string and this is how I play E if the E chord is too difficult for you guys right now you can use E7 it works with the song so your index finger goes on the first fret of the G string your middle finger goes on the second fret of the C string and your ring finger goes on the second fret of the A string and this is how you play E7 oh boy next chord is F sharp <laughs> your index finger goes on the first fret of the C string your middle finger goes on the first fret of the A string your uh, ring finger goes on the second fret of the E string and your pinky goes on the third fret of the G string and this is how you play F sharp next chord is C you're gonna want to take your ring finger and you're gonna count one two three right here on the third fret that's how you play C B7 take your index finger you're going to place it over all four of the strings on the second fret like that and it's up to you you can use your middle or your ring finger but you're gonna place it on the third fret of the C string and this is how you play B7 next chord is a minor take your index finger and place it on the second fret of the G string Alright, next chord is A. It's simple. If you still have that A minor, you're just going to add your index finger to the first fret of the C string. And this is how you play A. Our last chord is G. Your index finger goes on the second fret of the C string. Your middle finger goes on the second fret of the A string. And your ring finger goes on the third fret of the E string. So the strumming that I use in the intro and really throughout most of the song is just a series of single down strums and I also uh, use my fingertips to create a chuck, you know, a muted chuck in there. And if you guys don't know how to do that, you're going to, when you play a chord, you are going to use your fingertips to brush against all four of the strings and then immediately use the fleshy part of your hand to stop the sound and it takes a little practice but you'll get it so that together will go two three four stop 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 yeah and if the chucking is too difficult for you guys uh, by all means feel free to take that out you don't need it you can just use the fleshy part of your hand here and just stop the sound like that. Either way sounds really cool. 
let's try it at the intro. Two, three, four. Stop, 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 down, up, down. Do it again. Yeah, that sliding from the F to E is, oh my goodness, that's not easy. So, like I said, feel free to use E7 whenever you see an E chord on the paper. <laughs> Verse 1. Let's do it. 2, 3, 4, 1. I guess I have to be a lady. <laughs> Smiling and waving, constantly obeying. I guess I need a prince to come and save me even if I don't need saving. Fair warning, uh, there's going to be a tricky transition from F sharp minor to F sharp. That's coming up real soon. Just practice it. You'll get it. Don't worry. Two, three, four, one. I guess I must sit on a throne I don't own. Raising the babies we made all alone. I guess as a Man, <laughs> this song is definitely out of my range. <laughs> it's it's high notes and it's belty. Oh gosh, but I'm doing it for you guys. Now, every time we get to a chorus, we're going to do this a little different rhythmic strum, which I'll show you guys. Now for this strum, we're gonna be doing some muting. So go ahead and make your A major seven chord like this. And let me see if I can show you guys. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be pushing down, you know, making the chord, and you're going to lift your fingers off to create a mute. Don't worry about these extra strings ringing out. It's fine. So altogether, this strum is going to sound like this. Two, three, four. Again. Like that. So let's try it. We'll go slowly. Uh, two, three, four, one. But if I were a man, I'd go to Japan, maybe swim in the sun, and learn to speak French. I'd have the whole world in the palm of my hand. I'd finally do what I could, but I can't. If I were a man, and then go back to the single strum. Yeah, so for this spoken section, I really feel like it's more important to keep the rhythm going as opposed to lining up the, the dialogue exactly the way that I did it, uh, because that's a different skill onto itself. <laughs> and you just have to practice talking and playing at the same time. Um, what you guys will get, you'll get it over time. So let's just do it. Let's start with Daphne and let's just play that rhythm. Two, three, four. Uh, let's go back a little bit. Okay. Two, three, four, one. If I were a man. Um, Eloise, I have to tell you something. What is it? I've come to learn the woman who's with child. Well, Charlotte said that they knew already. It's a maid. Oh, I didn't know they were allowed to get married. She's not married. She's not married. Well, I, I thought a woman with child and she's not married. I don't know. We need to find out so it doesn't happen to us. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be different every single time you, yeah. You're never going to get it exactly. Okay. Verse two. Let's keep it going. Two, three, four, one. I guess I have to go to banquets. <laughs> banquets make me anxious, acting rather shameless. <laughs> I guess I need a gown down past my ankles, doing up my hair and tangles. 
I guess I have to search the land to look pretty. Dance till I'm proper dizzy. Throw away the life that I've been missing. Yeah, so that's how that whole section goes. Chorus, we're going back to our other strum. Two, three, four, one. But if I were a man, I'd summer in can, maybe play in the sand, and wear my own pants. I'd have the whole world in the palm of my hand. I'd finally fly far away from the nest if I were a man. <laughs> in verse three, I'm just doing two down strums. In my cover, I'm being complicated as usual by like strumming and then using my index finger to stop the sound. But you guys don't have to do that. Just like I said before, use the fleshy part of your hand and just stop the sound and make two down strums. <laughs> okay, let's go back to if I were a man. Two, three, four, one. If I were a man. Down, down. Don't need all the ladies and lords, just the world to explore. And I don't care if it's sullen, oh, no extravagant balls, no gentleman calls. And I don't give a rat if he's handsome and tall. Yeah, <laughs> that's that small chunk. Guys, this is what I'm saying. I, those lyrics are not right. I've just tried my best. I did my best. Please correct me if somebody out there who knows exactly what she was saying in the video, please put it in the comments and so that I can change it. <laughs> After we do that, what I do is just some finger picking and it's super easy. You know, you're just plucking all four of the strings at the same time. And if you don't want to pluck, just do down strums, do, do whatever you want to do. <laughs> um... One, two, three, four. I don't want to settle and squawk. We'll never leave unless for a delicate walk. That's wrong. Oh, oh, what if I, what if I want to fly? Okay, let's, let's close it out. Let's do this chorus one more time. Two, three, four, one. But if I were a man, I'd go to Japan, maybe swim in the sand, and learn to speak French. I'd have the whole world in the palm of my hand. I'd finally do what I could, but I can't, if I were a man. If I were a man. Yay! <laughs> Indeed. I would probably be with Eloise on this. You know, I mean, back then. Nice job, guys. We did it. That is how you play If I Were a Man from the <clears throat> Bridgerton musical. Which is going to be real one day. <laughs> It is going to happen. I'm aware of the other songs. I know the other songs are out there. I know those beautiful belty songs. Um, yeah. So if anybody wants to learn those, you know, just let me know in the comments. And I will try my best to cover it as best I can. And teach you guys as best I can. <laughs> yeah. So that's it, guys. We got a quick one. We got a quick one. I mean, I, I really have nothing else to say. Enjoy learning this song and playing it for yourself. And I mean, I'm out of here. <laughs> let, let, let me do it one more time. One more time. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I literally have to go back to doing what I was doing before. I had to stop because I wanted to make this for you guys again, you know? All right. I hope you all are having a, a lovely day so far. Uh
Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Does that ever happen to you guys? No? No? You don't tend to get distracted? I've been doing that more and more. <laughs> I'll say something and immediately connect it to a song that I've heard and then start singing the song. Yeah. Cool. Okay. It's just me. All right. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you guys in the next video.